He's from New Zealand, and there's actually no music. He is acapelling each part of the song. That's what the little boxes are, and then he's singing in the middle. So then here he is in his bedroom in New Zealand, and 265,000 people have seen his little game. And you saw the numbers going there. They, this generation is playing ping pong with each other with the ideas, and they have the technology to do it, and they're clever with it, and they're fast with it. And while this was a little bit ridiculous, the marketers, who are always on top of this stuff, have learned the millennials' language very quickly. Here's different song, same group, picked up by a company you would probably expect. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zero, yeah. press it, snap yeah. it, work it, quick, yeah. erase it. Technologic. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, bite it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, mail, upgrade it, charge it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it. Technologic. They knew the language. And they were saying to the millennials, we know, we know what's going on around there. And so now I want you to see what happens with the technology when they play games using their own archetypes. This is a scene from a show called Robot Chicken. And what they do is they take characters that they know from our mythology, our modern mythology, and they start mixing them because they can, because they have the ability to interact so easily. gets involved, it goes on and on. What I want to do is I want to show you the, a, a scene, it's not a scene, it's a commercial, and show you how people are figuring out that this is the language being spoken. Guys, 
GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. <laughs> so obviously, absolutely nothing to do with car insurance. Simply saying, we know how you talk. We speak your language. You will come and listen to us. And we need to let them teach us their language so that we can give them some of our wisdom. And that's what this is about. We're going to talk about millennials and their art now. This is a medical textbook, an illustrated medical textbook, very old. This artist takes them and he carves them. Nothing is added. This was all in the book. And he carves it out and he creates new things. He takes old dictionaries, old illustrated books, and he just peels things away. And he creates these artistic wonders. And he does it with material that's already existing. That's kind of the point for him. So that this stuff is already in there. He's just bringing it out. The mixing and matching of information. Because we have so much that's recorded. That's the new environment. That we play with what already exists. My work is a collaboration with the existing material and its past creators. By altering physical forms of information and shifting preconceived functions, new and unexpected roles emerge. We all hear the word emergent. The millennials are all about what emerges from what happens to be lying around. That is their art. That is what they love. And one of the people who plays with this is Banksy. If any of you saw Exit Through the Gift Shop, he's a great street artist. He's very political. He's very funny. And he's famous for taking his own pictures and sneaking them into the Tate Modern in London and putting them on the wall. And it takes a while for people to notice. Here we have an iPod with the Virgin Mary. Right? Again, the new and the old, I'm going to mix it up. It doesn't matter. And here, and what's most important about this in terms of understanding the millennials is this woman is outside the frame. Banksy does this a lot. The millennials, and you have old and new together. The millennials do not accept the usual frames that we do. They do not accept that a picture has to be in there. Banksy does not accept the, the, the rigmarole he would have to go through to be in the museum. He just puts himself there. And here is a picture. It's kind of beautiful, this girl in her balloons. But it's the context that matters, because all the world is a stage, because the technology has allowed that. This takes on far greater meaning when you find out it's in the West Bank. Here's another one of his in Ramallah. Far more powerful on a wall in Ramallah than it is in a museum. Again, we see taking of an archetypal character of our modern mythology and using it as if it's his own, to make his own point. Coming upon the little girl in the street. And here's Banksy making a comment about how his own work on the street is treated. The cave paintings, which we take so much care of, as if they're just wiping it away, wiping away his own art that he's putting into the world because he doesn't accept the usual frames. The millennials don't accept any of that. And what that takes us to, at long last, and I thank you, is type. Here's some picture of the, what the millennials do. 